Chris Claremont is considered by many to be one of the best, if not the best, X-Men writer in history and one of the best Marvel writers in history. But he has one more story to tell through me. Yeah, I got a story to tell. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am TJ, aka Flash by Night, and indeed, I have another story to tell. I am reminded of this story because shortly I will be attending the Huntsville Comic Expo. But this story is about the Huntsville Comic Expo last year. So, last year, I wanted to attend the Comic Expo. I was going to get my first uh, big signature in, per in person from the expo. Uh, but lo and behold, as a relative likes to remind me, uh, the state of Alabama required my presence. Um, and by state of Alabama, I don't mean staying in Huntsville to go to the expo. Anyway, um, so my plans were to get... Uh, Chris Claremont to sign a couple of books for me but I couldn't make it and also I lacked a little bit of knowledge so I had someone uh, go in my stead uh, go to get these signatures for me which he did he did a, he did a wonderful job he did exactly what I asked um, a good friend and he brought the books back and they looked lovely. Fast forward a few months and um, I was doing some listening to podcasts about Marvel, about the X-Men. And um, I found out a couple of things about my books. But first, I'm going to show you the books I got. And then I'll let you know why this story exists. All right. So my first book is... X-Men 244, uh, First Jubilee, signed by Chris Claremont. Now, a lot of you are probably asking why I didn't get it slabbed at the expo. Um, well, because A, I couldn't make it, and B, I was still in my collecting infancy, and I didn't know anything about that. But, nice book, Claremont, Jubilee, X-Men, great. Now, my second book, and if you saw my thumbnail, you can probably guess how this is going to end. But my second book is uh, No Whammy, No Whammy, No Whammy. Boom. Now, the reason I make the whammy sound is because this is also Chris Claremont's signature. But this is not Chris Claremont's book. Uh, what happened is that I read, or I, in short, I read that he took part in the first X-Men book, X-Men number one. Um, everybody's familiar with it, most overprinted book in history. You know which one it is. Uh, but I assumed from there that Chris Claremont had to read number four. I mean, it's four issues away, right? And so I had someone get Chris Claremont to sign my book. Lo and behold, if I'm not mistaken, Jim Lee wrote X-Men number four. So I have a Chris Claremont signature on a Jim Lee book. And I really don't know um, if that devalues it, if that brings the value up. I don't know how collectors see that. Uh, but I guess that means that we're going to keep this in the personal collection um, just to have a story. Of course, when um, X-Men 4 goes through the roof, whenever Omega Red shows up and becomes the biggest star of the MCU since Iron Man, um, this book won't skyrocket like that. Now, don't worry. That was a X-Men 4 in my thumbnail. Um, I do have a uh, Raw X-Men 4 
And so I won't be totally left out. But this, this is an important lesson. Make sure you know your books. Make sure you know the facts about your books. Make sure that you know who wrote your book, who drew your book. Make sure you know everything you need to know before A, you go to a convention and or before B, you send someone in your stead. That was it, guys. Just a short story. Like I said, whenever I come on here to tell these stories, I'm hoping that either I get a couple of people to laugh because everybody needs to laugh or someone learns a lesson from my mistakes. And if you learned a lesson from my mistakes or maybe you've made a similar mistake, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. Um, but if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead, hit the like button. And if you want to keep seeing content like this from me, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Um, just to remind you, I have a 100 sub giveaway. All you have to do is be a sub to the channel. Hit the like button on my 100 sub giveaway video and um, leave a comment in the video saying that you want to be in the contest. And you can do that through March 30th, two new comic book days from now. But as I always say, love yourself, love others, check your books, and I will be back in a flash.